Peekaboo, peek a peek a peek a boo. What if you were born to float? Float and float and float and never come down. Albert in the air because Albert was born to float. Wait till you hear this story. This book was written by Monica Weslo Wessoloska, illustrated by Jerome Pumphrey, and this book was published by Dial Books for Young Readers. Yay! Here we go, friends. Shortly after he was born, Albert floated into the air. Soon, his mother had to stretch to reach him. When people heard she stood on tiptoes to feed him, they came from all around to give advice. Net him like a butterfly, suggested one neighbor. Reel him in like a kite, urged another. Deflate him, insisted a stranger, like a balloon. But... Albert was not a butterfly, nor a kite, nor a balloon. Albert was Albert, and when he cooed in the air, his mother merely said, if Albert was born to float, I will let him. As Albert grew, he floated higher. Soon his mother had to climb the furniture to reach him. All day long, she tossed him toys, which Albert used to build a floating world above her head. Look, Ma, he exclaimed. Fantastic, Albert, she replied. And for a while, it was. But Albert grew and grew. When he outgrew his toy world, he somersaulted out the window to spend his days playing by himself above the yard. But one day, he just hovered. Even on my birthday, he sighed, no one else is up here. Don't worry, his mother said, climbing up a ladder with his cake. I'm here, now make a wish. So Albert did, and while he waited for his wish to come true, he shared his cake with some squirrels. The next day, Albert spotted a group of children starting school. Look, Ma, he called, I'm ready to join them. But when Albert entered, entered through a classroom window, his teacher called for help. Assign him bigger books, recommended the librarian. Issue him heavier shoes, prescribed the nurse. Glue him, dictated the secretary, to his chair. No matter what he tried, Albert didn't fit in. His tears fell like rain. But when they tried to send him home, Albert's mother sternly shook her head and said, if Albert was born to float, you should let him. Albert soon learned to fold his schoolwork into fancy paper airplanes to land on his teacher's desk. At recess, he caught the highest balls and tagged his classmates with his shadow. Fantastic, Albert, said his mother. And for a while, it was. But Albert grew and grew. As soon as he grew, his distance from his classmates widened until he couldn't join their games no matter how he tried. To keep him company, one night his mother climbed a fire escape. Just be yourself, she soothed him, and you'll find friends. Then she handed him a bowl of popcorn big enough to share. Look, Ma, he cheered, spotting a shooting star. Fantastic, Albert, she replied, make a wish. 
So Elbert did. The next day, Elbert carried his wish all over town until a crowd complained he was causing a commotion. Anchor him like a boat, preached a bus driver. Hook him like a fish, growled the dog walker. Forbid all floating, demanded the mayor, and arrest him. Fortunately, Albert was Albert. No hook, no anchor, no law could bring him down. So when his mother scrambled up a crane to defend him, he bravely reassured her, don't worry, Ma, I'll just float higher. But as he rose and everyone shrank, Albert's heart grew heavy. Just then, something nudged him. Dearest Albert, be yourself, but take this picnic with you. Thanks, Ma, Albert cried, blowing down a kiss. And with that, he floated higher and higher, high enough to find the world he'd always wished for. Dearest Ma, climb this rope. And it was fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy for Albert. He found where he belonged. I miss you, friends. Mwah.